Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Good Sync Backup and Synchronization Program. So this uh, tool here will let you backup and synchronize your files between your computer and let's say uh, external hard drive, another hard drive on the computer, network computer, FTP site, uh, cloud storage like OneDrive or Google Drive, uh, and that type of thing. So there's a free version and there's other more advanced versions. So we're going to be talking about the free one today, which is uh, pretty powerful. So once you install it, you're going to have to create a free account to start using it, which I've already done. So it's pretty simple to do. And then once you open the interface, you'll see that you need to create a job here. So they have this demo job here if you want to use that. But we're just going to do a new job. So let's do a backup between one drive to another here. So we'll do a new job. We'll call this, uh, we'll do a pictures backup. So I'll pick the backup option. So it's a one-way job, copy files and folders from the left to the right. Okay, so now we have to click our left and right folders, or choose them, I should say. So you'll notice here you have uh, various methods to connect with here, you know, all kinds of stuff, from, like I was saying about the uh, cloud storage, Google Photos even, local network shares, even Apple network shares. All right, so we're going to pick uh, local. It's going to browse to our pictures folder here under users, username, there we go, pictures. And now on the right here, we've got to pick a folder. So we're going to do my computer, local. We're going to do this backup drive, backup folder, pictures, which I already created. And if you don't have the folder, you can right click on any top level folder, pick new folder right, right there so you don't have to do it beforehand if you don't want to. Okay, so I'm click apply. And you might get this message. It's thinking that it's an external or removable drive. And it's saying that in case the drive letter changes, do you want it to remember it? But I'm not worried about it because this is not a removable drive. It's just a secondary installed drive. So I'm going to say no. Okay, so then you need to analyze it. full screen here. So it tells you the source and destination. Go in more room here. So here's all the pictures from the source. And here's the source path and the backup. So it says not present. So all we need to do is sync. Even though you're doing a backup, you still click on sync. Okay, so let's check out the results here. So here's the original pictures folder here. So here's backup, backup, pictures. And then here's all the files here. Let's sort that by names here. Okay, so one thing you need to be aware of, if we go to the options for this job, is that propagate deletions is on by default. So if you delete something from the source and run a backup, it's going to delete it from the backup unless you check turn this off. So you might want to do that. So I'll show you what I mean here. Okay, so here's the source. Let's say I delete the file called dog1. Now we're going to run it. So right now here's the destination. Dog1 is there. So now we're going to run the backup again. Or we'll analyze it first, actually. And that tells you that here's the dog1 was deleted. And it's going to delete it off the destination. So once we sync it, and we go back here, you can see that dog1 is now gone from the destination. So if you don't want that to happen, just make sure you go into the options and click on uncheck propagate deletions. And then there's some all kinds of other options too that you might want to check out. You know, if you want to apply filters for exclusions, auto analyze options, even you can run some scripts, some advanced options here for synchronization and conflict resolution. And you have your left side and right side options, which are the same. OK, so now let's do another job to an FTP uh, server. We'll call this 2FTP. We'll do a backup as well. You could do a synchronize. So we'll do some from the local computer. Let's do this demo files folder. And then down here, you find FTP. 
right here. So I already have one set up. You could add an FTP server, you know, address, home folder, username, password, advanced options if you need them. Okay, but I already have this uh, test FTP site ready to go here. So let's just pick this uh, input folder, for example. Apply. And we'll analyze. Not there, so we would just uh, click on sync. And there you go, so now we backed up our files to our FTP site. So let's do another new job here. Let's call this a uh, little drive. We'll just do a synchronized job here. Okay, so this time, let's say we're going to start with Google Drive. So I've already connected my account here. So if you need to uh, use one of these, you're going to have to, let me see if I can find another example here. Let's say Dropbox. You need to connect to Dropbox. And then allow it. Every platform is going to be a little different. Okay, so now you could see uh, we have our Dropbox folder here, so that's just my example here. So let's go back to the Google. Okay, let's say we're going to take this pictures folder here, and we're going to sync it over to our drive here. Let's make a new folder. like so. So we're going from Google Drive syncing to our computer this time. Instead of syncing from computer to Google Drive, we're kind of doing it backwards just to mix it up. So we'll apply. Say no to that again. So now we'll analyze. All right, so Google Drive, we have all these here and we don't have them here. Let's go to File Explorer. So here's our Google Drive sync, nothing in there right now. We'll just synchronize it. Like so, so let's see what we got here. So now we have all these uh, pictures from Google Drive copied over to our computer. And let's say we're to delete one. Let's delete Arial from our computer. Let's analyze it again. Now you can see that uh, Arial has been deleted from our computer here, but it's still in our Google Drive. So if we sync it, it'll take it out of our Google Drive. And that is because the same options are applied to this uh, job. And if it's synchronized two ways, you can't uncheck it. You could change this to, you know, backup left or right, which kind of makes it into a backup. Then you could uncheck propagate deletions like so. Okay, and then one other feature you'll have when you install it, you'll have this Good Sync Explorer, which kind of opens up the same kind of interface. But if you want to just browse your configured, you know, locations. You could do so all from one place instead of having to go to the Google Drive website and the Dropbox website and your, you know, local shares and that kind of thing. You could do a two tree if you want to do that as well. And that way you could move and copy in between uh, different locations. So that's just the uh, quickie overview. There's, you know, a lot more to it. And like I said, if you, uh, get one of the pay for versions, you'll have some additional features which you could check out on the website. So I'll put a link in the description where you could uh, download it and then you could uh, try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.